Happening right now, people paying their respects to the FSU legend. We're talking about head coach at FSU, uh, Bobby Bowden. Uh, he died Sunday. He had been battling pancreatic cancer. He was 91 years old. We're going to have continuing coverage uh, throughout this noon broadcast as uh, they have that ceremony. The governor has even directed flags be flown at half staff around the state as well. They'll have more this evening from the Moore Athletic Center there in Tallahassee. Hmm. Allison Posey, though, from Tallahassee, as the community turns out to pay their respects to the man who led Seminole Nation for more than three decades. Fans and politicians alike set their goodbyes to Bobby Bowden at the old historic Capitol building in Tallahassee Friday morning. The motorcade arrived with Coach Bowden around 930, where he was carried into the old historic Capitol to lie in honor. Governor Ron DeSantis, as well as Florida State President John Thrasher, paid their respects to Bowden and his family, wife Anne, six children, and 19 grandchildren. Several fans also came out to show the family love and support, saying they wouldn't miss this for the world. I heard the news Sunday morning. I was out of town. I was in Denver, and I actually cried, <laughs> kind of like I am now. He just was a friendly guy, and, you know, football, win or lose. Okay, you get upset for a little while, but then you move on. Bobby Bowden's meant the world to our university and to actually the city of Tallahassee and to college football. That's why I'm here. We're from Jacksonville, so we drove over and we'll drive back as we have for 45 years going to football games or going to college or what have you. Coach Bowden will lie in repose at the Moore Athletic Center at Doe Campbell Stadium from 2 to 7 o'clock. In Tallahassee, I'm Allison Posey.